right, guys, welcome back. This is this is the final chapter of Life is Strange 2. Uh, you guys are probably gonna get a uh, a recap here once this is done loading. But boy, are we ready <laughs> for? for some emotion now. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. <coughs> the wolf brothers wandered for days and nights learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. I mean, that's, that's one way to put it. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother the far into the desert to her hideaway. This is getting so good. Ugh. Life is Strange 2 is a story-based game that highlights player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences and impact the world around you and your brother. Choose wisely. Arizona. Seven weeks after... Holy shit. Seven weeks after the events at Haven Point. I kind of want to know, like, how long it's been since, like, the events back in Seattle. That this is seven weeks since Haven Point. Hey, wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. 
I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. I kinda have... Ow! Absolutely love him. Diaz brothers. And moments Always. like where I kind of wish he wasn't around. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes. I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. She's scared or she's lucky. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. <laughs> yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen, I should've said though, like she has we're no far power. away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Uh, hope so. Sean. She does have the power to manipulate people. Are we criminals now? Sort of or no? I mean, I don't want to lie to him. It's like... You know, we did, like, flee the scene of a crime. So... Sort of. We did a lot of... illegal shit. You think? If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. But they, they can't prosecute well, Daniel, though, because he's... We're almost at the border. He's a kid. Finally. I like it here, but He's, I we'll have to leave soon. They can. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Mean, why would you prosecute Sean, a ten-year-old? I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh, yeah, I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are. But, it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins, together. The wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them 
and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. In the States, I think it depends on where you live. Based on what I just I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom I mean, said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Oh, sweet. I can draw. I haven't gotten to do this in a while. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm, I can try. Rough looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? So nice and cool in the morning. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. Uh. All right. Um. Activate flashlight. On the way. Okay, Daniel's got the force. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe... It reminded him of mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Let's clean up this mess. Yeah. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. Daniel's You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Is there any more that we can use that for us? Nope. Come 
Of course. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. Yes, I did just realize that Daniel has the force. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, put, Sorry, put little guy. Okay. Don't get eaten by it. eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Where yeah. the fuck are you going, kid? These guys are real cool. Daniel, what are you doing? Daniel. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. Are you coming? It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Thank you. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Why are you going ahead of me, you Mom little bit? Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Get away from me. Hmm. I think she's in denial. What do you mean? Karen... kind of acts like you don't have a power. Maybe yep. she doesn't want to believe it. I don't get it. I hear you. Can I just let him jump himself? My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Hey, don't kick me in the face, Daniel. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. <laughs> who? So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be. Super careful. Yeah, and don't kick anybody in the face. Very good that one. Daniel should have known I was standing right there. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. Hmm. <sighs> episode in the next couple of minutes. Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? Huh. <laughs> Back soon. Hey. 
I could definitely eat some pancakes right now. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Damn. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Where's the pancakes? I want pancakes. Does she have pancakes left over in the kitchen? Where are the damn pancakes? The real world. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. We miss you too, Lila. Always. Oh, there's a pancake. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ew. Ugh, gross. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Yeah. He seriously just... I'm... I don't... Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Looks like they all finally found their home. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Okay, so... I'm gonna end this episode here. <laughs> Looking at this place, so I, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs>